Hey everybody, it's Jackie. I'm um, going to do this video for you guys today. Please excuse my wet shirt. I washed my face right before this video and of course it never comes out the way it does when the commercials come out. I got all wet. Anyways, uh, I started out with my Kat Von D foundation, foundation and also using this flat, um, I guess you would call it kind of like a stipple brush from BH Cosmetics to apply my foundation all over. So now I'm just actually going to take two different powders. One is a Rimmel one and the other one is one from a 99 cent store. My Rimmel one is almost all out so that's why I'm kind of combining both of them together. And they both work perfectly fine for me. And I am using a puff. I always use puffs, not brushes, because I feel like the puff, you can definitely pat that into your face a lot more and it's a lot smoother. Now I'm just going to take my Lorac bronzer, I believe this is in bronze, and an angled brush. And I'm just going to contour my face right under my cheekbones and on the side of my temples. And just any other regular place that you would contour on. I'm taking a tapered blending brush and some highlighter and I'm just going to apply that a little bit onto my cheeks right above the bronzing area and I'm going to bring that down to the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. So I was debating on doing this or not, um, not using any eyeshadows, just using whatever you use on your face as an eyeshadow. So here I'm taking the Lorac, brand, the Lorac bronzer I'm sorry, and a large blending brush and I'm going to take that along into my crease and just go ahead and blend that out. So now I'm taking that highlighter that I used earlier on my cheeks and I'm taking a flat brush by Elizabeth Arden. This is the only different brush that I use, the Reservoir Beige Cosmetics. And you're going to apply that all over your lid and it's just going to give you a really nice highlight. So now I'm just going to take a Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner in black and this is my favorite eyeliner at the moment. It's super thin brushed and I'm going to go ahead and apply that at the top of my lid right at the lash line. It definitely takes practice to get your lines straight. Trust me, it took me a long time and I took art classes so even with that in mind it was still really hard for me to get straight lines. So I thought I was actually recording, but my camera actually turned off on me. I went ahead and did one of my eyebrows. I seriously thought I was recording, but I guess not. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eyebrow for you now. I'm still using the same techniques most of the time. I already have an eyebrow video up, so if you guys ever want to see how I do my eyebrows, you guys can go ahead and go on to that video on my channel. I still use... Um, that same brow art powder. I am using a different brush now. This is actually from Beach Cosmetics and I love this brush. It's a lot thinner than the other ones so my eyebrows do come out a little bit thinner but I don't know. I just I like it a lot better and it's a lot more precise. My favorite part of doing makeup is actually doing my eyebrows. I don't know why it's my favorite part. I just feel like the whole look comes together once they're done. So I am going to curl my eyelashes, but before I do that, I'm actually going to um, do my bottom eyelashes. This is a Toki Doki mascara and it's just in black. Um, I prefer doing my bottom eyelashes first rather than my top ones. I don't know why. I just feel like um, once I do my top ones, I'm like all done. I don't have to go back and do my bottom ones. So while my bottom lashes are drying, I'm actually going to put on my lipsticks now. I'm not sure which one this is. I just know it's by Wet n Wild and it has a numberation at the bottom. It's like this really bright pink color that I love. And this is one by Estee Lauder. Um, also, I don't know the name. It's old and it's actually pretty broken. So I'm really sad about that because I actually really love this lipstick. And I believe I got it at a garage sale brand new. 
Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the pink lipstick first, and I don't like to put too much on. I just like to put some on the bottom and then rub it in. After this, I am going to put on the next lipstick, which is the Estee Lauder lipstick, and it's a little bit of a darker color, um, but it just creates such a natural lip color, so that's why I really enjoy it. Also, I'm just going to top it off with my favorite NYX lip gloss. I always use this one. I'm sure if you guys watch my videos, you guys know which one it is. And I'm just going to top it off with that to give it a nice glossy look. So now I'm actually going to start curling my top eyelashes and if you guys are just wondering this is just a MAC eyelash curler and then I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara and we can get on to doing my hair now. I don't show it in this clip but I am just going to be using that same um, regular Toki Doki um, eyelash mascara. I went ahead and straightened most of my hair for you guys, just left the top section alone uh, just so I can show you guys how I straighten my hair. Basically, I know everybody knows how to straighten their hair out, but um, yeah, this is how I straighten my hair out. And I am using a straightener, of course, and I got this one from Sally's Beauty Supply, and I believe it's by Unplugged. Usually, I buy Unplugged um, products because I love them. So after about half an hour, um, I start finishing and my hair is pretty nice and sleek. If you guys are wondering what I use, I've actually been using new stuff recently. I've been using coconut oil and almond oil from the store. The almond oil comes in a small bottle of like about three dollars it's not too expensive and I mix it in with the coconut oil so that's what I've been using. That's why my hair looks so shiny. I'm going to part part of my hair back. So now that part of my hair is back, I'm actually going to take a teasing comb and I'm going to start teasing the back of my hair. I know you guys can't see it here. I wasn't aware that this wasn't in the shop, but I do have another video where I make a teased ponytail hair tutorial. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. Basically, it's the same thing. And the hairspray that I'm using, I don't show the label of, um, not on purpose, just because I didn't see it. But it's by Vital Sassoon, and I use their shampoo as well and their conditioner. Also, I'm going to start teasing parts from the front just because I don't like it when the front looks totally flat. So I'm going to start teasing the sides a little bit and, of course, applying the hairspray and um, making those teases, teases as less visible as possible by combing over them a little bit. Ta-da! My hair is now done and I look a whole lot better. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope I'll see you guys soon. Bye!